All right, we're going to wake up a little bit. we got to wake up. Ah. All right, if you see what I see, man, you wouldn't be just dead in the water, just slumped over doing nothing. Man, if you knew that Christ was alive, revival is happening, uh, if you knew that, if you saw that, if you want to be a part of that, man, we wake up today and we join in on that. Do you see what I see? Yeah. Do you see what I see? Oh, I see lightning and I hear thunder.
to other colleges and churches and stuff, and we're so excited about the revival that's happening. And the revival is happening in those places, but man, revival starts in the heart, amen? Revival starts in the heart. It isn't just in a place. It isn't just with a bunch of people there. It's, it's in the heart. That's where it starts. But man, when that revival starts, when that fire starts to kick in, man, it's hard to stop. It's hard to stop. And I mean, I want that to happen for you. I want that to happen for us, that revival starting in our hearts. Amen. And today we are going to start that today. But today we want to, to just, just let loose. Today we want to let God's roar actually be heard today. That's what we want to happen. Amen. Amen. That's what's happening down there. God's roar is happening down there. He's saying, I am the lion. who I am the lamb that was slain, but I am the lion who is roaring across this nation, who is roaring across our young people so that they can be raised up, so they can be the new leaders in this place that we need them to be. Amen. Amen. God of Jacob, great I am, King of angels, the Son of man, the voice of many waters, the song of heaven's throne, louder than the thunder, Lord, make your glory known. Let the lion roar, yes. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Oh, oh, oh. 
How many is ready for a miracle to happen in your life? Amen. Yes. How many is ready for not, not just in your life, in your family's life, in your church life? A miracle is about to happen in this place, and we just welcome it in today. Whatever the miracle may be, small or big, but we welcome that miracle in today. And those people are out there, they're, they're screaming and shouting and praising the Father in heaven, but what they're doing is they're speaking Jesus' name in this place so that people can hear it, so that so that news people can, can understand it. It's not anything that, that has to do with politics or anything else like that. It has to deal with Jesus, the name of Jesus, the powerful, almighty, all, all-knowing name of Jesus. That's who it is. And so we welcome a miracle today. How can we not speak the name of Jesus when all the things that he's done for us in our life, all the miracles that we've seen in our lifetime, how can we not speak his name? How can we not praise his name? How can we not uh, tell someone about him? Man, this is how revival starts, is, is telling somebody about Jesus and what he's done in your life. You have a testimony. Man, share it with somebody. stories that have proved your faithfulness and I've seen miracles my mind can't comprehend and there's beauty in what I can't understand Jesus it's you Jesus it's you sing it out to him oh and I believe you're the wonder Man, how can we not believe at the, 
At the birth of our children, we see a miracle happen. Man. We see cancer disappear from people. How can we not believe that he is good? Yeah. We've seen prodigal sons and daughters come home. How can we not believe he is good? Amen. And I've seen cancer disappear. I've seen metal plates dissolve. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Cause I've seen real life resurrection. I've seen mental health restored. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. And I've seen families reunited. I've seen prodigals return. Don't you tell me don't you tell me, Lord, Lord, and I've seen troubled souls delivered, I've seen addicts finally free, don't you tell me.
Man, how much thankful that you have an assurance that Jesus says, you are mine. You are mine. If you call on my name, believe in your heart that I died for you. Confess with your mouth that I am Lord and Savior that one day when we pass from this world onto eternity, that we can stand in front of him and worship God like never before, never before have we seen the worship that we're going to see. Man, can you imagine the angel choir? Can you imagine the people that have gone on before you that you loved standing there with you, praising the God that you serve? Amen. And I'm so thankful I have that blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. That's the story that I want to live out. That's the life that I want to proclaim. That's the love that I want to share. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I can't wait for the day, heir of salvation, purchase of God. in his blood.
keep it going. Father God, we worship you. We will praise you all the day long for we have an assurance that can only come from you. An assurance of salvation, an assurance of being a part of a divine family, an assurance of an eternal home. We have an assurance that our sin has been forgiven, that it has been cast as far away as the east is from the west. We are blessed and we are happy that we are children of God. And we will surely praise you all the day long. We will tell our story to anyone who is willing to listen. For God, you have asked us to prepare the way of the King. And it is is up to us, Lord God, to tell as many people as possible, anyone willing to listen to the great salvation of our wonderful King and Savior. We worship you, we worship you. You are worthy. Oh God, I pray that you would continue to sweep your spirit over this place. We are praying, Lord God, for this nation to, to come under submission to you, to recognize your glory, to recognize your salvation, to recognize your love. Father God, we worship you. All of God's people said a loud and hearty amen.